Hello guys, today we are going to play Mafia 2. So let's start. It's one of my favorite and this game is based on B2. Please subscribe my channel and hit the like button. So here we go. My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. away from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American Dream. It was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work, and what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't going to do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, oh shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! I'm gonna shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs Fuck. and put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily, but we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return the fair. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. Eh? No, 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 no. All right, Scaletta, take the allora, shot. Allora, traditori! Ammazza! Shit! I'm dead! I'm dead! 
GoPro! This guy's saying there's more troops headed this way. Check to the You and Williams take out that machine gun nest. Then find the prisoners. We're gonna need every man we can get. Ain't getting through this time. Looks like we found the machine gun! We'll put a grenade through the window! Well, then get off your ass and let's move it. Grab all the ammo you can carry. This might be our last chance. Whoa! Look at this shit. On the stairs! Hey, Greaseball! Get the cat! Ha! Yeah! Who taught you fellas how to shoot? Must have the prisoners upstairs. Clear the second floor! Scalera behind the point! Non c'è appunti di pari! Gara! Arrenditi! Shit! Looks like we're going this way. Come on! amico di stare attento. Fregatene di fare attenzione, fai ciò che ti è stato detto! Davvero Don Calò? Cacetto, un congè quando siamo arretati come cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È lo stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovesse ascoltare i consigli di noiarci del posto. Ci rendiamo? Sapete che potete affidarvi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. <laughs> 